Hey, this is Chef Robert Irvine, and this morning I'm here at Miso Robotics with the CEO Mike Bell to talk about the future, the future of robotics in food service. Hey, Mike. Hey, Robert. Thanks for joining us. So I'm really excited because I started to talk about robotics two years ago. And now through COVID and the staff shortages we have is even more apparent. When I talked two years ago, we were talking about flipping hamburgers, making pizzas, etc. How far have we come since two years ago? <laughs> a long ways. But first of all, let me talk about the timing. Uh, we had a labor crisis in the restaurant industry a couple of years ago, uh, really before the pandemic. The pandemic just accelerated, it made it worse, and kind of kind of national news where everyone knows about. So our timing, although we're smart people, we're pretty fortuitous at kind of being in the right place at the right time when there's such demand for a labor solution. Since that time, proud to say we've not only perfected the product, but we've got a lot of customer opportunities in hand and we're off and running. Today as we speak, there are, are robots rolling off the production line cooking food. But listen, I'm a chef, right? Can a robot physically do what a chef can do and do it consistently because I know there's a lot of people out there thinking uh, that's impossible you know we've got people that flip hamburgers we've got people that make pizzas is it possible to do it consistently and fast yeah. using robotics for the right type of food preparation absolutely we're here now today now there are a lot of food preparation tasks that we're, we're we get questions about in terms of like can you scoop ice cream? Can you help shell oysters? A lot of things we say, yeah, but not yet. Other tasks in the kitchen lend themselves perfectly for robotics and frying, uh, french fries, frying food, happens to be one of them. And burgers being the number one thing in the United States of America, I see the world. Exactly, right. so, exactly. Now you have to prove to me and to all them folks out there that this actually works and can do it better than I can do it. Yeah, absolutely. That and was a challenge, by the way. Yeah, happy to take it and happy to show you. When you step back and think about food preparation in the kitchen, there's a lot of tasks that humans are just really good at. Dealing with other people, handling customers with a smile. Robots don't do that nearly as well as a human does, and maybe in our lifetime, never will. Other tasks that humans perform, anyone can kind of look at and say, that's actually machine work bringing a basket from, you know, filling it with frozen product, putting it in a fryer, removing it just on time, dumping it, that's actually truthfully not a great use of a human body. Now handling it to a customer and dealing with them, that's not a good use for a robot. So we look back of house at a restaurant and we see a really good opportunity to automate a bunch of tasks, starting with fr frying food. Show me. <laughs> right on.